The U.S. is urging Americans in Israel to restrict their movements as fears grow of a possible attack by Iran. Iranian leaders are threatening retaliation for a deadly airstrike on Iran's embassy in Syria this month, which Tehran blames on Israel. Deborah Pata has more on the concerns about a wider war. Israel is braced for the worst-case scenario, the possibility of a direct attack on Israeli soil from Iran in retaliation for the bombing of its embassy in Damascus. Whoever harms us, we will harm them. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that a military airbase, we are prepared, both defensively and offensively. Former Mossad official and Iran security expert Sima Shine says this is a dangerous moment for the region. Is this the most worried you've been? Yeah, I think this is the most worried. I think it's uh, on both sides, in Israel and in Iran. She says if Iran strikes Israel, it could involve missiles and drones similar to the Iranian attack on a Saudi oil facility in 2019. They will try to do it on a military or a military uh, asset. The question will be the damage, how many injured people are killed, and I think uh, it has the potential for a huge escalation. However, she stresses that she still believes neither side wants a regional conflict, and that will be weighing heavily on Iran's mind. Shine told us that Iran's major dilemma is how to respond in such a way that the conflict does not escalate further. And likewise, Israel, she says, may choose to show restraint and avoid a direct conflict. Tony? Deborah Pata, Deborah, thank you very much.